Good evening everyone, this is Robert Jamison. Welcome to our online chess lesson for Thursday the 1st of August. I have a student in with me today, little Oliver. Say hello Oliver. Hello. You're going to talk up in a nice loud voice for us today, aren't you? Yep. Yep, alright. So tell everyone about you. How old are you? Five. Five, okay. And you've got a pretty good rating, haven't you? What's your rating? 800. So you're a junior master and a few more extra hundred points. That's great. Alright, so Oliver's going to help us with our lesson today. We had his older blood brother Elijah uh, last week. Now, um, after we're going to solve the puzzle. You're going to help me solve the puzzle? Yeah. So I've given A, B or C. So what I'm saying is, do we think white can draw with rook H8 check? Or should he play rook C8 to get behind that C pawn? Or do both of them draw, A, B or C? Should we have a poll and see what the other people think? Yeah. All right, let, let's have a poll, guys. Uh, so, A, you're saying that rook H8 check draws. B, you're saying rook C8 draws. Or C, you're saying they both draw. So choose A, B or rook C. C8. You're, you're going to vote for B then. Oliver's voting for B. So at the moment, A's in the lead. Oh no, we're all equal. A, B and C, all on 33%. Gee, it's nip and tuck. Uh, Alright, let's close the poll and have a look. Have a look at the results. What have we got? It's an absolute dead heat. A's got 33%, B's got 33%, and C's got 33%. So Oliver, you've got the casting vote. You go for for what? Which moves? C8. Rook C8. All right. Well, let's have a look. Let's do. Um, what do we do? We'll do Rook H8 check first. All right. Rook H8 check. So now I'm going to move my king to G4. What do you reckon White should do now? Then Rook C8. Rook C8. Now, what a good move. Now you're attacking my pawn, my pawn. So if I move that, you can just take it and then you take the f-pawn. So for instance now, if I move my king back again, you can just go back and check me again, can't you? Yeah. So it's a draw? Yeah. Okay, don't put your hand over your mouth, we need to hear you. Okay, so it looks like rook h8 is a draw. So the question is now, are they both draws? Yeah, they are. So let's go back to the start. They are both draws. Alright, we'll go rook c8. Now. Is that going to be a draw? What do you think uh, Black's going to play here? He's just going to... Uh, Is he going to push the pawn or something? Or what? G2. Uh, Black's go. Oh, he's yeah. going to play King G2. And but then you can just check him again. So it's exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's a draw. It's a draw. Okay. But this is a puzzle, isn't it? Mm. That was a pretty easy puzzle, if that's the answer. Yeah. Maybe I tricked you. I think I tricked everyone, though. Uh, one of you might have got it. I think Callum might have got it. All right, so left, there's a really clever thing here, rook c8. Now, you remember our endgame camp that I told you all about yeah. rooks? Now, what did I say about rooks? Rooks operate best from? Long distance. A long distance, yeah. And in this position, White's rook is really annoying because he's checking us from way, way away, and we can't get out of it, isn't it? But if we could get that rook to be close up, maybe we could still win. So Black has a clever move. You want to have one more go? Yeah. What, what do you reckon? What could Black do here? To get the rook in close and not from a distance. Any ideas? Joshua's seen it. Harry's Bishop, seen it. Bishop C3. Bishop C3. That's it. What a wonderful move. So now we're threatening to play pawn to C1 equals queen. So he's got to take our bishop. And now our king comes up. And what's going to happen now? Take our pawn. And we get a queen. He can't stop us because his rook's too close. No, but then king moves check. Yeah, but queen, yeah. queen is going to be the rook and the pawn. Queen is definitely so it's actually, the correct answer is A, only rook h8 was a draw. So congratulations to the 33% of you who got that answer. Okay, now, Oliver, do you win all your chess games? No. You lose some. Why do you reckon you lose them? So I play too fast. Yeah, and what happens when you play too fast? You make blunders. Blunders. Okay. So why do you reckon you make blunders? You, what, you haven't seen your opponent's move, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, they play surprise moves that you weren't expecting. Is that right? Yeah. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I've got two little games, if we've got enough time, that demonstrate what happens if you don't pay enough attention to what your opponent's going to do. So I'm hoping this is going to help you with your game. Right, now start off, we're going to look at a game from the Vic under 12s between two of the guys who tied for first. That's Ryan Cam and Chris Chan. They're both pretty good players, particularly Chris, he's really strong. Okay, so let's get started and see what happens. Okay, e4, e5. Knight f3, knight c6. What would you do here? You play this opening, I guess? You play this opening? No. You don't play e4, I mean, what do you play? d4. You're a d4 man. Oh, okay. Most juniors play e4. You would have played this when you were a young boy, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What would you play here, do you think? What would be a good move for white? Move a knight or a bishop, what? I think knight c3. Knight c3. That might happen in our second game. In this game, yeah. Ryan's playing the Gyoko piano, <laughs> bishop c4. Yeah. All right. Um, what should black do? Should he move his bishop too or a knight or what? Uh, what do you think? A knight. A knight. Okay, so he'll put his knight out to f6. Now. The question is, what should white play? So let's ask people what they would do in this position. So if you were in this position, guys, as white, what would be your next move, please? So, Yule's going knight c3, Joey's going c3, Bridges is going d4, Callum's d4, Sam's knight c3. Okay, do you like any of them, Oliver, or what would you do? Would you do an attacking move, or you do one of those moves? I'd do castles. Castles, okay. Would you do knight g5? What do you think about knight g5? That looks like a pretty good move, doesn't it? Because now we've got we, we've got a double attack, and what this is called a special funny name. You talk loudly and tell everyone what the name is. Fried liver. Yeah, this is the fried liver attack. I've never heard of a chess player called fried liver, so I don't know who they named it after. But this is pretty common. In fact, I saw a few of these games in the RJ Shield uh, mm -hmm. on Sunday. Okay. So is this a good attack or a bad attack? Bad. Bad. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. So, guys, black to play. You're just being attacked by a fried liver. What would you play as black in this position? Uh, I think... Joey's got the right move. Derek's got the right move. Queen e7. Queen e7. Queen e. Oliver's suggesting queen e7, which Gil wants to play. Justin's playing bishop c5. Joey's suggesting why it's called the fried liver. Joey says, "I think it's called fried liver because black's as dead as fried liver." What do you think? Maybe it is. I've never had fried liver, so I don't know how dead it is. It doesn't sound very tasty. So what would what would you do, Oliver? You're going to play Queen E7, or something different? Something different. Yeah, because Queen E7. If you play Queen E7, isn't he just going to go through with his attack and take your pawn? Yeah. All right. So that wouldn't probably be the best, but we need to find a way to get out of it. So what's the only move that stops that double attack? D4. D5. Yes, D5. All right. Good move. Okay, so we'll take it as white. Oh, All right, now now it gets a bit interesting. Right. Well, no, no, don't tell them. Wait and see. So this is a fairly common position. I hope most of you guys know it, but we'll see what what you come up with. Black to play. So white's just taking your d pawn. What would you like to do for black in this position? So Bridges is going knight a5. Daniel's going knight d5. Joey's going knight takes d5. Sam agrees. Gil likes knight d5. Joshua likes knight takes. What would you do, Oliver? What do you like is the best one? How do you get out of the fried liver attack? Just take the pawn. Just take the pawn. Okay. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm in the wrong mode. I'm just getting to that. Right, so Oliver wants to take the pawn on d5. You know what white's going to play then? Or do you just take back because it's a take? Um, do you know white's next move? Uh -huh. What's white going to play for the next move? 
Derek knows it. You see a good move for white? Remember I say look at all checks and captures? Oh. What do you think? Do you remember now? What about this one? What if knight, knight takes f7? You've just fallen for the fried liver attack, you know? Now I'll show you what happens. So the king will take, and the queen will come out f3 check. So now this is this is a double attack on this poor knight here. Okay, so black has to get out of the double attack and save his knight. So the only way is his king to march in the middle. All right, so we hit him again, knight c3. So maybe he defends, let's say he goes to e7. So we've attacked it three times. He's defended it three times. But now we have a really good move. We play queen e4. Mm. And our next move is going to be pawn to d4. So even though we're a piece for a pawn down, black's king's really trapped in the middle. So it'd probably be good for white, do you think? Yeah, but what if it just got knocked down and then came back? Mm, I don't know about that. This is the main line. This is what you should yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, so so this is if you take, you fall for the fried liver attack. So most players these days, they play something different. Knight a5, which quite a few of you suggested, which is good. Now, black's the pawn down, Oliver, so what do you think white should do? And the bishop's attacked. Where, bishop? Where are we going to put the bishop? You want to go backwards or forwards with the bishop? Forwards. Forward. Okay, let's go forwards onto glory and we'll give him a check. All right, mm -hmm. now black puts his pawn in the way. Take. So we'll don't take, take it. it. Don't take it. No, we, we've got to take it. Otherwise, if we move our bishop back, he'll just take our pawn on d5 and we won't even be a pawn ahead. So we may as well be a pawn ahead. So let's take it. He takes us. Oh. Now, I saw this position uh, in one of the Odeshiel games on Sunday. Um, I thought, well, you guys can help me. What do you think White should do here? Because there's a couple of moves. So White's a pawn up, but his bishop's attacked. White to play, what should he do? We'll see if he knows the theory. Gil likes bishop a4. Joey likes bishop a4. Daniel likes bishop a4. We're all agreeing. Derek likes queen f3. Josh likes queen e2. Bridget bishop d3. Justin queen f3. What do you like, Oliver? Which one appeals? Um. Your bishop's attacked. Do you want to move it or do you want to move the queen out or what do you want to do? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Well, on, um, on Sunday, Max... Phillips went bishop d3, which was an interesting one. That's probably one of the reasonably strong book moves. Uh, queen f3 is a sneaky move that I think is also a strong book move. So that means if black takes the bishop, then the queen can grab that rook in the corner. Okay. It's pretty sneaky. Yeah, it is. But in this game, white didn't play the best move, I think. He just went back bishop e2. All right. So white's a pawn ahead. Blacks mm -hmm. go. So black's got to get some compensation for his pawn. So what, what would you play here, Oliver? What do you think? Um, it's a pretty obvious move. Passes. No, blacks go. Blacks go. Sure. White just played bishop e2. What would you do for black? Want to threaten something? No. No idea? All right. No, I don't know. What? I think I do. Come on, please talk in a nice loud voice. Tell us what movie you play. Um. All right, I'll show you. H6. So we can chase his knight away. We don't want his knight up there attacking us, do we? No. So where's his knight going to go to? Can't go to e4. If it goes to h3, I'm going to take it and muck up your pawns. So he's got to go back to f3, hasn't he? Mm. All right, what should black do now? 
same idea. So we've got a free move before, because we played h6, which is a handy little move, attacking his knight, and his knight have to move back, so we're going to free move. Okay, then. What will we do? E4. Yeah, e4. Let's gain another free move. So we attack his knight again, and we gain lots of free space, so we're getting compensation for the pawn. So where's that knight going to go? Is he going to go forwards or backwards or sideways or, or what? Let's, let's have a poll, guys. So do you want to put the knight on g1, e5, or h4? e5. Oliver's thinking e5. Gil likes e5. No, not e5. You're changing not your mind, five. Oliver. h4. Arthur's h4. e5. Justin's h4. e5. h4. Just about everyone's saying e5. We're just going h4. All right. So I'm going with Trey. Most people have gone into it. Joey's gone G1, which is pretty horrible. Yeah. Now, I'm not now, Oliver and Bridgesh both said H4. Yeah. Yeah. Now, before you make your move, what should you ask yourself, Oliver? Is it a move? No, not quite. Just to make certain it's not a blunder, what do you ask yourself? Can it move in? What's he going to reply? Yeah. All right, did you, did you ask yourself what's he going to reply if you go to h4? Because yeah. he's got a really good reply. Can you see what it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he can play g5 yeah. and, oh, and your knight's dead. Just retreat. There's no way to retreat. We can only go back to f3 and we lose our knight. Yeah, just... yeah. so that was an example. If you decide your move, Sorry, make yeah. certain you ask yourself. But in the game, he did what everyone else said, knight e5. All right, guys. Uh, black to play. What are you going to do for black? We've gained two free moves hitting that knight already. Joey wants bishop d6. Bridges wants queen d5. Queen Thomas, queen Thomas bishop d6. You want queen, queen e7. e7. Yeah. Won't that block your bishop in though? Queen e7. Oliver likes queen e7. Most of you got it right, and we'll go bishop d6. Hitting the knight. So see how that knight has moved, what, one, two, three, four, and now it's going off to c4. It's got five moves. So he's wasting heaps of time. So he might be a pawn ahead, but he's wasted all that time. All right. Now he's gone c4, so he's attacking our bishop and our knight, Oliver. So what do you want to do? Do you want to retreat or take him? Take him. Take him. All right, let's take him. He takes back. And black castles. Mm -hmm. All right, now black's a pawn down, but he's got more space. He's got two pieces developed to one, and he's got his king safe. So Castles. he's probably... All right, well, hang on. So he's probably got compensation for his pawn. All right, now I'll give you a choice of three moves again, Guy, for what white should do. Should he play knight c3? So that would be developing a piece. Should he play d3 to get his bishop out? Or should he play castles to make his king safe? So they're the choice. Knight c3, d3, or castles. So let's see. Gil's going castle. Thomas going castle. Sam castle. Justin wants knight c3. Regis castle. Oliver castle. Derek's the d3 man. Joshua's d3. Which one did you like, Oliver? Knight c3, d3, or castles? What do you think? So we need to choose one. Which one do you want? Knight c3. Knight c3. Knight c3. Okay. You can't decide? Yeah. All right. The most popular one, I think, is castles, and d3 is second most popular. Now, what White did, d3, and then he fell for bishop takes pawn check. Let's go back. He's made castle move, and he hasn't said what's the opponent going to reply. And his opponent's ripped in, bishop takes pawn check. Did you think of that one? You were just going to castle, and you didn't ask yourself what's the opponent going to do. Well, I thought actually knight c3 as well. Yeah, knight c3 would have been safer. So all those of you who said castles, I'm reckoning you didn't ask yourself that vital question, what's the opponent going to reply? So when you have a look at this position, 
White's king's pretty lonely. He's got the rook to protect him, but that's about it. And black and his bishops going down on that pawn. The knight can come in, and maybe the queen can come in as well. So black's potentially got three attacking pieces. So it's like danger signs. And bishop takes h2 check, be one of the most common sacrifices in chess. I think have you seen that before? Yeah. There's been lots of famous games where they do bishop takes pawn check. All right, so poor old Ryan, he's in stripes. So should we take it or hide in the corner? Uh, I just not Yeah, I think you've lost. So let's take it. All right. So what's black going to do now? Queen check. Mm, you knight. sure? Knight check. Let's get the knight in first. All right, so should we go forwards or backwards? That's the big question. Should we go to G3? So if you go forwards, you lost the queen. Have we? Yeah. So you want to go forwards yeah. or backwards? What do you yeah. think? If you go here, yeah. Oliver's not sure about King G3. So if you have to choose, let's. We well, need no, some help, no, guys. Hello. King G3. Um, We've only got retreat, two. Retreat, retreat, retreat. All right, Oliver's saying retreat now. We could go to H3, but that'd be terrible because knight check, retreat. discover check. You want to go G3 or G1, guys? Type in on the thing. Joey likes G3. Callum likes G3. Bridges likes G1. Arthur likes G3. Thomas and Oliver are G1. So you're going forwards, Oliver? No. You're going backwards? Yes. Okay. Probably the best one... Let me see. The best one is probably to go forwards because it gives the opponent more chance to make a mistake. Now the bet, hang on, the best move for black here, I'll show you what would happen, yeah. would be h5, yep. and their next move, black's going to play h6 check, and the king is probably going to have to hide here, and then we've got our discover check working for us again. We might win the queen. So, well, we might actually win the game. And queen and the game. All right, so what happened is Ryan went back. Now, we can finish him off, I think. What are you going to do here, Oliver? Just... Uh, a really strong attacking move. Queen H. Queen H4, correct. That's it. So now we're threatening mate on H2. So he's got to play rook E1. All right, now, can we finish him off? Or is it just a perpetual check? We can finish him off. Oliver's pretty confident he can finish him off. Queen of so what do we do? We take his F2 Queen. pawn. That looks like a good move. He's yeah. going to hide in the corner. Queen. What can we do now? How can we finish him? Queen. Some of the guys are saying Queen H4 check. Maybe Queen G3 might be a good move. Or Queen F4. Or Queen D4. Yeah, Queen D4. Queen D4. You sure? Is that the very best move? Yeah. Why don't you have a look in case there's a better move? Derek likes Queen D4. Joey likes Queen G3. Joshua likes Queen D3, which is illegal. I'm presuming you mean G3. Your brother's going Queen D4. Elijah's on board. What if I was to tell you you've got force checkmate in four moves, if you can find it? What would be the first Queen move? Queen H4. All right. Queen H4 check. All right, I've got to go G1. What are you, you going to do then? Now you've got Queen force checkmate in three moves. Mm. No, Bridget says Queen H2. Do you want to do that or do you want to do something different? Queen H2, yeah. Well, we'll do Queen H2. I've got to go F1. Now you've got checkmate Queen in H2. two moves. Queen yeah. H1. I'll go King E2. And? Queen take. Yes! Checkmate. Very good. Okay. So why do you reckon White lost that game? What was his big mistake? He wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking. He was just moving and saying, I want to make my king say, I'm going to play castles. And he didn't say, what's the opponent going to reply? So he missed that obvious tactic. So that was a good lesson in asking yourself that tricky question. Now, 
let's go to our next game, which was a big game on Sunday between Rebecca, who I think was the top seed and defending champion, and Matthew Zillman, who I think was the third or fourth seed. So this was a pretty big game. Do you remember this game? You, you were sitting next to it, weren't you? Yeah. That's right. I was one round to go. Little Oliver was up there on board two yeah. in the whole tournament. And then you lost, unfortunately, but never mind. Okay. Matthew won this game. So let's see how he did it. Okay. So we'll start off again. E4, E5. We've seen this before, haven't we? Yeah. Knight F3. Knight C6. I'm now, usually white, but then Taylor takes it because he's a nice king. Okay, well, Becky puts the other knight out, and Matthew puts his knight out, so it's so really Matthew boring, isn't it? Knights. It's the four knights. You can't get more boring than a yeah. symmetrical opening, can you? All right, what would you do if you were white here, Oliver? What would be a good move for you? Um, uh, just to the bishop. Where would you put it? Where's the best square for the bishop? Here, C, C4 or B5? Yeah. All right, most people put it C4. I think I'd put it B5. Yeah, me too. But Beck has a funny opening she plays all the time. Yeah, C4. She plays G3. As she wants to fianchetto the bishop on G2, which is normally a pretty safe system. All right, so what should black do? Uh, just start. Um, the bishop. bishop. All right, where are we going to put it? C5. Yep, C5. That looks like a nice diagonal. So Beck goes bishop G2. All right, now question for everyone. Black black to play. Don't give them a hint, Oliver. What should black play in this position? See if you can get Matthew's next move. Black to play. Reduce is going D6. Thomas is going knight d4, Daniel's going knight g4, Gil's going knight g4, Rujesh wants the castle now, Joshua's going d6, Derek's going d5, Harry wants bishop takes f2, which looks a bit strange. Joey wants knight takes e4, which seems to lose a knight for not very much. Okay, Oliver, I need your help. What would D6. you do? D6. Now, some of them said they wanted to play knight g4. So that's like the last game. That's yeah. with a double attack, like a fried liver attack, only this time black's doing it, on f2. Now, would that be a good attack? No. Why not? You can just castle. You can just castle. White wants to castle anyway, and now the rook's defending the pawn. And if black wants to have a swap, he'll lose a bishop and a knight for a rook and a pawn. I think. Would that be a good swap? Not for black. No, no, that would be a bad swap in the opening, losing two pieces for rook and pawn. So all those of you who said knight g4, you're like going for the one move attack and hope he misses the attack, which is not a good way to play chess. So we're trying to get our bits out and build up, aren't we, Oliver? Okay, so we're going to do what? We're going to do d6, are we? Is that yeah. what we said? All right, let's see what Matthew does. d6. All right. Now, white, what should white play? Castle. It's just castle. That looks all right. Now, white's got a pretty common formation here. If you have a look at these nine squares on the king side, that's a standard Fianchetto position. And it's normally pretty good because the bishop's controlling the white squares and the pawns are controlling the dark squares and the king has three pieces to protect him. So you'd say white's king is pretty safe, wouldn't you? Yeah. But it isn't taken. Well, we can maybe chase the knight, but it's, it's a pretty solid, safe formation, you'd yeah, think. But well, we'll see what happens. G4. Hang on, wait a minute. All right, so blacks go. So you want to go bishop g4, do you? Yeah. All right, so if you play bishop g4 and Rebecca just goes h3, what are you going to do then? H3. You're going to retreat. Where are you going to go back to? No, to the h3. Yeah, to the h3. So you go back to e6 or something? Yep. No. t7? No. All the way c8? No. So where are you going to go? Or h5? Yeah. 
okay, that's possible. Uh, maybe your bishop's getting a little bit out of play. All right. Matthew didn't do that. He did bishop d6. All right. White's go, Oliver. What are you going to do? We keep developing, or should we attack yet, or what? Uh, just, just, just keep developing. Just do, do, do. Yeah, d three. Yeah, so many juniors attack before they're ready. We should really get all our pieces out, shouldn't we? All right. Now Matthew plays queen d seven. What what do you think he's up to there? Is that telling you something? Yeah. So. Oliver's thinking Matthew wants to move his bishop down to h3 and do a bishop swap. Is that his yeah, plan? This is a really good bishop. Yeah. So is that a good plan or a bad plan or just an okay plan? Okay. It's just an okay plan. I don't think it's anything special. And anything else Matthew might want to do now that we've seen his move queen d7? Uh, I'm not sure. No idea? Let's, let's see if we can get some help. Castle. Castle queen five. Okay. Yes. So maybe Matthew's thinking, hey, I'm going to castle queen side. What, why would he want to castle queen side instead of king side? Okay. Well, what he's thinking, he's playing Rebecca. Now, she's a very safe, solid sort of player. So she doesn't make too many mistakes, hopefully. So what sort of game would you like if you want to try and beat her? You'd like a really wild attacking sort of game, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah. And try and confuse her and get her all yeah. analysing and tactics and stuff. So Matthew's thinking, hey, if I castle queen side, then I can throw my king side at her, get a big attack, rather than just playing a boring old castle king side. Okay, so it's white's go. All right, let's ask everyone. So Becky's aware of that. It's her turn to move as white. What move would you guys make as white for Rebecca? Gil wants to resign, probably a bit premature. White to play. Bridges wants bishop g5. Daniel Pob wants knight g5. Joey likes bishop e3. Daniel likes bishop g5. Elijah wants knight g5. Callum knight d5. He moves all over the shop. What do you reckon, Oliver? You see see any good move there? Knight g5. Knight. Why did you choose knight g5? Because attacking the bishop. Okay. And why do you want to attack the bishop? Let's have a look. Knight. G, why do you want to attack the bishop? Because it's like going to attack the king. So the bishop was going to come down and attack you on h3. Yeah. So you want to swap it off for your knight, do you? Yeah. And that'll be a pretty good swap because yeah. is that black's good bishop or bad bishop, the one on d6? Better bishop. Why is it a better bishop? Because it's attacking. Well, also, have a look. Uh, it's on white squares, yeah. isn't it? And black's pawns, they're on black squares. So the bishop's yeah. the good bishop. Okay. And also, um, all the pawns were Yeah, so it looks like a good plan. But, now hang on, wait a minute. Have we forgotten to ask ourselves something? What, what should we have said? What should we have said to ourselves? What, what will Matthew do next? We didn't do that, did we? We just said, hey, I want to attack his bishop. No, but don't do that, Daniel. It's too late now, we've already done it. We touched it and we moved it up there. So Rebecca's done exactly the same as you. She said, oh, I want to attack that bishop and have a swap off. I'm going to play knight g5. And she didn't say, what's Matthew going to reply? So what do you reckon Matthew's going to do? Is he going to leave the bishop there to be taken or is he going to do something with it? Like what? What move would he have? Where could the bishop go? G4. Yes. So Matthew says, you're not getting my good bishop, I'm playing bishop g4. So now he's got an attack on Rebecca's queen, and Rebecca would probably like to play pawn up to f3 to get out of the attack, but it can't, because that pawn's pinned by this nasty bishop over there. Okay, so now Rebecca's 
in a bit of strife. Her queen's attacked. So we'll ask everyone, what should she do? She's got maybe what is it, two or three or four moves that she could possibly do. I can see one, two, three, four, maybe even five moves, four the reasonable moves. Right, so you guys choose. Gil's going Queen E1, Joey's going Bishop F3, Bridges Knight F3, Thomas Bishop F3, Derek's going Knight F3, Arthur's Bishop F3. Daniel Queen D2. We're getting a bit of support for just about every move. Nathaniel Bishop F3, Callum Knight F3, Joshua Queen E1. Now Joshua was a pretty strong player. Maybe we should pay attention to what Joshua says. Let's see if he'll talk to us. You there, Joshua? Are you marked up, Joshua? Can you talk to me? Nope, he's not going to talk to us. That's a pity. Right, which one did you choose, Oliver? Joshua like Queen E1. Some want Bishop F3, some want Knight F3. And I think we had one uh, for Queen D2. Which one do you like? Um, D2. Queen D2. You like Queen D2. Queen, that looks like a funny spot for the Queen, Queen D2. Mm. I'll show you the one Matthew did. Matthew. Uh, Re Rebecca did rather. Rebecca did Queen E1. Is that a good one? No, that's a bad one. Okay, what she should have done is she should have said, well, hang on, I've made a boo-boo last move, so I'm going to swallow my pride and I'm just going to retreat my knight back again. Then maybe if Matthew comes forward with knight D4, we can go bishop E3 and try and take that nasty knight and it's worse for us, but we, we haven't lost anything. But it's very hard to make him sort of admit you made a boo-boo with knight g5. All right, so Rebecca goes queen e1. Now, I said that's a bad move. Why, why would that be a bad move? What could black do now, Oliver? You have a look. What can we do? Move forwards and attack. We have a good move here. Uh, h6. We could do h6. And what do you reckon white would reply then? The knight's got to go back somewhere, hasn't it? Because yeah. it's attacked. So go back to f3, maybe? Yeah. Is that going to be good for us? Yes. Really good or just slightly good? Slightly. What if there's a really good move? I want you to try and find me a really good move. What else could black do? So you've looked at one attacking move. Find me another attacking move. Remember, last move, white's queen changed position and it went from d1 to e1. So that's changed where the queen was. Does that give you a hint what you could do for a good attacking move? Yeah. What? You tell us loudly what you reckon you could do. Um, you have to go to the knight to do um, four and then take the pawn with the g4. My knight can't get the g4 because my bishop's there. Yeah. Now I need another plan. Some of you guys have got the right answer. You're screaming at Oliver. What are they screaming at you, Oliver? What are they saying? You read out their move? F1. No. What, what are all these guys saying here? Joey and Gil Knight and Bridges. D4. Knight D4. Look at that. So now our knight's moving forward into the attack uh -huh. and it's attacking that C pawn and it's covering this square as well. Uh -huh. Because when we're attacking, we don't just attack with one piece or two bits. We try and build up as many attackers as we can. So poor old Beck, she's in a bit of trouble now. What do you reckon she has to do? Because we're attacking that sea pawn. She can't do anything really. Can she defend that pawn or, or not? It's a winning attack or can she defend she it? Can. I'm defend it. How can she defend it? They Yes, she can go back to the move you said she should have played anyway, and she can play Queen D2. That's what she said. All right, now her position is looking a bit ugly. Black to play. What would you guys do? We need to see if we can punish Rebecca for that nasty Knight G5 attack that wasn't so hot. 
So type in on the question what you do. Sam's going h6, Gil's going h6, Bridges is going bishop b4. H6 to Nathaniel. Knight takes e4, question mark to Joey. Very right to put a question mark after that, Joey. Knight f3 from Bridges. I think we just take it, don't we, and win a piece? Mm. Oh, yes, not the best. H6 from Justin and Julia. What do you like, Oliver? Bishop e4 or h6. There were two of the moves. H6. Why do you like H6? Because the knight has to move. And where's the knight going to move to? Can't move anywhere. It can't move anywhere. It's trapped, isn't it? Because we've got H3 covered and we've got F3 covered. So H6, well done to all those who saw it. But are we winning a piece for nothing? Or can Rebecca have a sneaky move to get out of it? So we need your help again, guys. White sneaky move so as not to lose a piece. What would you do here? Um, you have to think hard, Oliver. See what they say. No one's coming up. I think we've got them all baffled. They're all going to lose a piece. Derek's going H3. Nathaniel H3. Daniel H3. Anyone else have an idea? F3 from Derek. I showed this game to someone before and they suggested yeah, yeah, yeah. F3 as well. What what would be a good move against F3, Oliver? Double check. And we win the queen. Oh, so F3 is a shocking move, isn't it? Yeah, that's funny. F3 is no good at all. Okay. So knight f3, say some of them, but that's defended once and attacked twice, so that would be no good. So the only move, Oliver, is what? Save the piece. Mm -hmm. Counterattack, come on, what can I do to save the piece? Most people have suggested it. H3. Yeah. So if Matthew takes the knight, Beck can take the bishop, piece for piece. All right, so Matthew says, okay, I'm going to take the knight. So Beck says, all right, I'm going to take the bishop. Mm -hmm. Piece for piece, all right. What can Matthew do now? Queen takes the Is that the best move? Is that the only move you want to look at? No. There's no other good moves? You're going to just go queen takes knight pawn? Takes knight takes pawn. Or well, it's two good moves. So which, which one do you like best, queen or knight? Um, knight. Why do you like the knight best? Because you can just do a really sneaky move. So the knight's a better attacker than the queen? Yeah, you can do a really sneaky move right. like knight here. Let's see what the guys think. So Oliver's trying to choose between knight takes g4 or queen takes g4. So you tell him which one you like best. Sam likes the knight, Bridges likes the queen, Caleb likes the queen, Nathaniel likes the knight, Harry likes the knight, Gil and Daniel like the queen, Elijah likes the knight, it's about 50-50. Knight. You going knight? Yeah. Alright, let me ask you a question. Which is your most powerful attacking piece, the knight or the queen? Queen. So if you're going to get him in checkmate, which would be better to have in an attack, the, the knight or the queen? The queen. The, the queen. queen is going to come in. Well, it could be slow. All right, let's get the queen in straight away. All right. Now, we'll pretend we're Rebecca. So we've just lost a pawn. And what do we say? Black's moved. It's our turn to move. What's, what do we say to ourselves? What is he threatening? So maybe he's threatening queen h5, and then the queen is going to zoom down to h2 checkmate, something like that. All right, guys, your turn to move. What, what move would you make for Rebecca? See if she can prevent that checkmate. White to play. Uh, Oliver's thinking hard here. You have to move. Joey wants to move the rook. Gil wants to take the pawn with the queen. Rajesh agrees. Josh agrees. 
That's three votes for Queen G5, one vote for Rook E1. Elijah agrees. We're not sure what he agrees with, but he's agreeing. This is nice of him. Callum wants to go F3. Now, Callum, what did we just do a second ago? And F3 is even worse now, because what's knight at F3, Oliver? Double check. And worse than that, it's double check mate. So we've mated you, won your queen, and checkmate you all, double checked and everything. We've lost the whole sink, so not F3. Daniel likes rook e1. All right, so Oliver, we've got to choose between rook e1 or queen takes g5. Which one do you want to do? What do you think? Rook e1. Why do you like rook e1? Because if you do... Talk nice and loudly. What do you like, rookie one? No, queen G. You change your mind. You're going to go queen G five. All right. That's what Becky did. Queen G five because he's got a pawn back now, and she stopped the queen going to the H file and getting a checkmate. Black to play, guys. What should Matthew do now? Black to play. We've got a rook attacking, a queen attacking. Two knights may be attacking, a bishop attacking. Daniel's seen a good move, Nathaniel's seen it, Joshua's seen it, Gil's no. missed it. Yeah. Bridge has missed it. You have to swap off queen so you can leave the queen. You want to swap queens, do you? No, you can just move. Let's blacks go. Joey's seen it. Bridges has seen it now. All right, Oliver. Nice loud voice. You tell everyone the winning move. Knight f3. Knight f3. Look at that. Check. Mm -hmm. Bishop has to take. We take with a queen. And what terrible thing is happening now? Next move, Matthew's going to play rook h1 checkmate. Mm, or queen h1. Yeah, or queen h1. And the only way out is maybe to put the queen in the way and we just take the queen and we win easily. So poor old Rebecca had to resign. So look at that. She's lost a game in 14 moves. The top seed in the whole tournament. That wasn't very good, was it? So why do you reckon she lost? She wasn't thinking. She wasn't thinking. She was thinking about her move, but she didn't say, what's the other guy going to reply to yeah. my move? So she made three bad moves, starting with knight g5, with which she didn't look at the reply of her opponent. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the message from today's lesson. You're going to remember that, aren't you, Oliver? So next yeah. time you play, you're going to take your time and watch for your opponent's sneaky replies. And then you won't be on board two, you'll be on board one and win the whole tournament, maybe. You reckon? Not we hope so, anyway. He's got a big smile on his face. Alright, so that's the end of today's lesson. Uh, I think next week we're having Bridges as our student, if he sends me some of his games, so it'll be fun. So I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Thanks very much and good night. The organizer has ended the session.